Okay, hi everybody. Uh, this is a very quick video from me. Um, I thought I'd do a comparison between two of the hottest female figures that Hot Toys have done. They are the best two at the moment. Um, this is Catwoman from Dark Knight Rises and Black Widow from The Avengers. At first glance, Catwoman is taller. This is only because she's got high heel boots on. And Catwoman does look slightly slimmer uh, on this camera than Black Widow, and that's because of the clothing. Um, it's a, like an illusion, really. And the boots, the way that the boots are really tight on the leg and they taper down, it just makes her look a hell of a lot slimmer. But the bodies underneath are exactly the same. Two superb figures. Um, you can't really see on this camera, but the the paint apps on the face on both of them, skin tone wise, are virtually the same colour. Not a lot of difference between the two. They both can be posed relatively easily. So the only restrictions you really have are with opening the legs up too much, and that's because of the tight clothing underneath. Uh, sorry about the brightness. On the face, it's, uh, I'm filming this at night, so my camera light is making them look a lot paler than what they actually are. Side on, uh, see if I can do this. As you can see, the breasts look bigger on Catwoman. This is because underneath the Catwoman suit, there is a, um, a t shirt type, very thin t shirt, so it puffs it out a lot more. There isn't any underneath Black Widows. And the same can be said for the butt. As you can see, Black Widow's butt is a hell of a lot more shapelier than Catwoman's. Uh, you can see the visible panty line underneath. And I say this is because there is a pair of pants underneath the Catwoman suit as well. Um, I think it's done for protection reasons, I'm not sure. Um, but if you really felt brave and you've got a lot of patience then you could probably take the Catwoman suit off take all the underclothes off and struggle to put the suit back on again um, they'd look pretty much the same I would say underneath you can tell that Cat, um, Black Widow hasn't got the t-shirt underneath because you can actually see like the shoulder blades of her body with Catwoman um, you can't Again, because of the t-shirt so that is the only real difference between the bodies the look of the bodies should I say uh, in my opinion still the best female figure has to be Black Widow um, I am trying uh, sort of in the process of doing a custom Black Widow figure at the moment and I'm going to be doing a custom um, Predator as well. Uh, the Guardian Predator that I've got I have now just sold to a guy in the Czech Republic and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some pieces for the Guardian Predator like the mask, the bio mask a um, couple of his weapons I'm going to actually use on another um, Predator body to make my own better Guardian Predator. Um, the reason I got rid of him was I didn't really like the body on him. Uh, the head sculpt also on the Guardian Predator wasn't to my liking. At the time when I got it, it was brilliant. But because of the newer versions of the Predators that have come out, it just blows them out of the water. So I'm gradually sort of getting rid of my older Predators uh, with preference to the newer ones so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to do um, a custom Guardian Predator so I'm going to do the custom Black Widow what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy another one of the, these Black Widow figures um, the complete one I'm going to take the head off and put the old Black Widow head from the Iron Man 2 figure on it and change, change the um, gun holsters round as well um, so I'll have a, a, another representation of that figure. 
Um, trying to think of, I am sort of toying with, sort of dabbling in some other custom figures as well, some kit bashes, uh, but it'll be a little while before I've got them done. As soon as I have got them done, I will post them. But anyway, back to these two figures, so I'm digressing from what I'm showing you. As you can see, two superb figures really are well worthy of getting in your collection. If you're umming and ahhing about the Catwoman, I know a lot of people have been. Um, I would suggest get it if you've got the money and the funds um, and you haven't really got anything else on order then I would definitely recommend getting this figure because it is a really nice looking figure. Um, oh another thing I'm thinking of doing my Alice figure that I've got from Resident Evil I'm thinking of buying another one of those stripping the clothing off the body buying one of these Black Widow bodies and putting all the Alice clothing on that body just to make it look a lot better because although it's a brilliant figure again because it's the older style body the bum on um, the Alice figure doesn't look right and I think with this body underneath that clothing it would look really cool so that's something else I'm going to be doing uh, so that's three more complete figures that I've got to buy just to make my own kit bash figures. Bloody expensive, yes, but it does work out a little bit cheaper than actually buying individual pieces I found on eBay. So that's what I'm doing with those three figures. Um, what have I got coming up? Still looking for a cheap 89 Batman. Michael Keaton one. I definitely wouldn't mind getting that one. Uh, figures I've got on order. Um, I've got the Iron Man's Centurion body on order. I've got Heartbreaker, the Iron Man Heartbreaker figure on order as well. There's a couple of newer ones that I forgot to mention before. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Obviously I've got Roadblock on order, which could possibly be the next one that comes my way. Because I think that's the next one that's going to be released. The Battle Damaged T-800. I should be hopefully getting that round about Christmas time. I've got the Crow on order. I've got Ed 209 on order. I'm going to get Robocop as well. Um, what else? What else? I'd still love to be able to get my hands on an Iron Munger. But it's a little bit pricey for me at the moment. But I'm hopefully getting one of those. The new Whiplash figure from Iron Man 2. Um, the final battle version where he's in the um, Mickey Rourke is in the armoured suit um, I hear that Hot Toys are making that so that would be another one coming my way the um, Chitari is it from the Avengers the alien figure um, be getting him when he comes out so there's quite a few there that I'm planning on getting I might thin out a few of my figures um, to make room for them uh, possibly the next one to go might be uh, my uh, Jill Valentine BSAA version. I don't really want to get rid of it. Um, it's a nice figure, but I want to sort of stay away from the computer game figures, really, which is why I didn't get the Ada Wong. Um, I might consider getting the Ada Wong if they bring out a good head sculpt that resembles the one from the actual film. The Resident Evil movie. So that's a possibility. I've got a figure on the way. It's uh, a Fison figure, but it's the Kate Beckinsale character, Celine, from Underworld. I've got that on the way, and I've gone out and purchased um, a proper head sculpt as well. I'm not going to use the Fison head sculpt that comes with it. I've actually got a custom head sculpt that I've bought off eBay. So as soon as those two pieces arrive and I've put them together, I will do a video on that. I'm still hoping that Hot Toys will make a Celine figure. There's no news about it yet. I'll just give you a close-up look at these. I say it's going to be quite bright because of the camera lighting, but I'll try and get a good enough view of these figures. Um, just check out my previous videos on these guys to see some better 
video quality of them. I have seen a custom head sculpt for the Catwoman figure um, on eBay, but the guy who's done it, although it's very good, he wants over a hundred pounds for it, and I'm not going to pay that just for a head. The more I look at these two figures, the more I love them. I might actually display them together. Um, I get paid next week. When I get paid, I should be buying one of those, uh, I think it's Legend um, cabinets with the LED lights, the touch screen LED lights. So I'll be able to display my Hulk in that. And finally get him up on display because he's still sitting in his box down there on the floor. So I'll have him up on display. I'm planning on re-displaying uh, my tracker predator with the hound because at the moment he's in the detolf without the hound so I'm planning on redoing that um, I might do when I'm off next a video of all my predators together some have gone I have sold a few uh, but I'll do a video on those for you so anyway that's enough of me waffling on um, so another video will be posted next week. So until then, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you like this sort of comparison between the two. I haven't really given you a good look round. I'll do a 360 now to finish off. And hopefully this video will inspire you to maybe go out and buy one of these figures if you haven't already got them or if you're thinking about it. I definitely would recommend getting them. Um, a lot of collectors out there don't tend to go for the female figures um, but I, th I think uh, they're well worth getting getting the hair just about right on the Catwoman is was a pain in the ass, but I've got it pretty much how I want it that's not ghostly orbs flying across the screen that is dust yes I've got a dirty room I've just woken up from a night shift, so I haven't had time to tidy the room up just yet. So there you go. Two awesome figures. Look great in any collection. And as I say, these are definitely the two best female Hot Toys figures around at the moment. with the Resident Evil Alice coming close to them. It's just the body that I don't like on her. But I will be changing that at some point. So I'll catch you guys later. I said it was going to be a short video, but it's ended up being quite a long one. I've just waffled on. Take care.